Hey guys, my name is Mike. I will again congratulate you on your 2013 pilot purchase. Now what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to go over the features and benefits of the pilot so that way you can understand 100% of how to use the vehicle and all the benefits that it has for you. Okay, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to go over the steering wheel first with all the features that it has, okay? On the left, like many Hondas, you have your audio settings, your mode, which is obviously between FM, AM, auxiliary, USB, XM, whatever your pilot has, that's what the mode will do for you, okay? Now this is the, this is the fully loaded pilot, this is a pilot touring, so obviously it has all the features uh, like you know, like, just like I've been saying, the FM, AM, XM, CD, USB, auxiliary, your HDD drive for your programmable CD songs in the car. So, just bear with me, and I'll I'll definitely get to your uh, your pilot when I can. Now, it has your volume and channel controls as well. Volume, self-explanatory, controls the volume. Your channel does not change the stations. What it does, it goes through your preset stations that you set one through six right here. Now, b below that, you have your Bluetooth options, your pickup and your hangout buttons. I'll get into that later into the video. On the left, on the right, you have your cruise control. I'll, I'll take a couple seconds to go over the cruise control, how to set that. You hit the cruise button, make sure the cruise main light comes on the dash, just like it did. Now, when you're driving, make sure you're at a speed that you feel comfortable with. And then all you have to do is just hit the button that says set and release, and it will set that speed for you obviously until you break the speed by hitting the brake pedal now beneath that you have two buttons that have an eye and arrows on it now on the dash right where the speedometer is you'll see a, a little white square that's what those buttons control you can see you have customized settings tire pressure your trip computer and the odometer and if you go the opposite way it's the same thing now if you want to get into depth with that all you do is hit the eye and there's a select button beneath well, beneath it, beside it. You'll fill it with your two fingers behind the buttons, actually. And if you do that, you get more into depth with customizing your settings, your, your lighting, your doors, how they lock. And, but that's all up to you. That's up to your preference. I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. Now, behind the steering wheel, obviously, you have your light and wipers. Lights, the same thing, just turn it all the way. It's a little knob on the left here, all the way at the end of the stock. Okay, now if you go into the stock on the same thing, you have your fog lights. Turn them on, turn them off. Some people don't use fog lights, some people do. It's just better visibility, obviously, in fog or misty conditions. On the right, you have your wipers. You just push down on the stock. The further you push down, the faster they get. To turn them off, you can push it all the way up and release, and they stop for you. Now, on the left of the steering wheel, you have two buttons. It has a P, and it has a little car with squiggly lines. Now, on the P, the P is just basically your park distance sensors. What that is, it lets you know if you're close to an object in front of you or behind you. Now, that option is only available on the Pilot Touring, but you can get that as an accessory on any Pilot you want. Okay, turn that off. Now, on the side of that, you have the traction control. You never really need to use that because you have four-wheel drive on the vehicle, but if you need to use it, you just hold it, and a little orange light comes on the dash. What that does, it turns off your traction control as well as your four-wheel drive operating system. Um, I wouldn't really use that button. I mean, you never really need to use it on the East Coast. If you're driving on the streets, that's more of a trail climbing kind of thing that you never really need to use. Okay, we'll put that up. And then on the left of that, you have your seat program, one and two. Now, what's pretty cool with the, with the Pilot Touring, you have two master keys that have uh, one, driver one, and driver two on the back of the key. If you, go in, if you go into the car and use driver one key and start the car, and you have a setting one programmed already, that automatically sets your mirrors and your driver's seat the way you had programmed previous to that. And the only way to, the uh, easiest way to program it is to get your seat just the way you want it, hit set, and the number you want, and then it automatically sets it to the key as well. Uh, now, we're going to go into the main stuff. We're going to the audio and the navigation systems. Okay, first we'll do the radio. As you can see, we have a digital screen here for the radio, as well as for the clock and climate. And above that, you have the big screen for the navigation, as well as... Uh, audio as well 
but I mean it's up to you you can have just the, the, the default map there and the auto down here or by pushing a button on the bottom stock here audio you have the audio displayed there as well as here There's a lot of different options you can do but I like to have the radio here and I like to have my map showing there so I know definitely where I am or you know definitely uh, see what's going on now with your radio you have your volume on your left and the tune on the right and obviously you just hit the option that you want to use but we're going to use FM right now okay and obviously you just see it tuning there to the station you want if you want to program that station all you have to do is just hit and hold any one of these buttons here wait for the beep it programs it into the car for you now it's pretty cool with this one you have a single CD but you also have what's called an HCD system in the car which allows you to download the songs from the CD to the car now the CD cannot be mp3 it can't be burned it has to be an actual CD you buy in the stores with the actual whatever it is on the CD because I'm telling you if you put an mp3 in here and you try to download it it's not going to work because immediate, immediately when you put the CD in there it's going to ask if you want to download the song to the car okay now beneath that you have your DVD the DVD is obviously for the rear DVD entertainment system which is in back of the driver and passenger seat now you obviously I wouldn't get these too confused but we have a little insignia down there says DVD and so hopefully people understand to put that in there and not get them confused once you put that in there it automatically plays and uh, Honda provides two wireless headphones for your children or any passengers in the rear once you put that on your head the, the sound will go right through this headphones for you and you can still listen to your radio now beneath that you have your climate control you have tri climbing in the, uh, in the pilot on all models which basically all that is you control the temperature from the driver passenger and the rear now if you don't want them the same just turn your sink off here and that way the driver can control his passenger can control his and the rear you control that as well and all displays right there nice and easy to read right there on the display now your heated seats obviously you're right here one for the driver one for the passenger hot and low now beneath that you have a little cubby hole for, you know pens and papers and stuff but then you have your navigation controls right here as well as your phone so the navi simple to use very straightforward your destination route is right there you just push it and then you have all your options right here on the dash for you to choose from all you have to do is use the back part of the knob here and you just choose what you want to do so let's put in a destination so I can show you how to do that. Choose a destination. Make sure it's highlighted in blue. Push the enter button. Make sure you choose the state first. Make sure you're in the right state. After you choose the state, city first. Never the street. Always city first. And just spell out the city with the same knob behind the enter button here. And you just have to push spell out your city. Let me do it here. And as you can see, it jumps. It tries to guess where you want to go. So we're going to do Wayne. Push in on Wayne to select it. And let's choose a street. Same thing. Spell out the street. And it jumped just like I expected it to. Jackson. And you know, we're going to choose a, choose a number. And as you can see, it has different arrows down there where you can delete or hit OK. It might have space or an option. Now, when you see those arrows there on the enter button here you can see four arrows on the corners here of the circle here I want to do okay because I'm done putting in my street number so all you have to do is push in the direction that the arrow is telling you to hit okay so just push down like that and it selects it for you it displays your address you put in now you have your options here you can do a route preference if you like you can view the routes with the way to get there you can add it to your address book or you can add it to your destination list but we don't need to do any of that so we're going to hit OK. And right off the bat, it finds the fastest route possible. Proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. As you can see, it's nicely highlighted in blue, bright, bright blue, so you can't get lost. And audio. It'll let you know when to turn, how to turn. And then it gives you estimated time and length to get there. OK, now we're going to pair a phone. I know all, phone, all phones are different. So please bear with me. I have my iPhone 4S. I know most people have Droids, HTCs. But with this, we're going to bypass my password there. 
Now, we're going to hit the phone button down here. Now, on I know on pause on the pilot, the EXs, EXLs, your phone is going to be most likely around this area here. So, same thing, just push the phone. No phone is paired to the system. Would you like to add a phone now? So, obviously, we want to add a phone. Use your knob back here with the other autos, with the other pilots. Your, your, but, your button's going to be most likely here or around here to turn and select. So, we're just going to turn this down and make sure it is on yes. Hit make enter. sure Bluetooth is on and set to discoverable on your mobile phone. Okay, so we're going to make sure that I'm on discoverable mode. Most phones, it's in your settings. On the older phones, I know some, some people still have the flip phones. It might be under connectivity, it might be under tools, uh, it might be under settings and tools. Just make sure you look for settings and tools or something like connectivity. And then just turn your Bluetooth on. Mine's on already. Now we're going to search. So right now I was searching for my, my wireless through my phone to the car. Searching to see if I can find it. This usually takes anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds, depending on the phone. Well, see, and it pops up. There's my iPhone. So I, find, I found my phone. Now, if it didn't find my phone, you can see down here, it says phone not found. Like I talked to you earlier, just go down here to your little knob here with your four little arrows and just push down on the stock and it will have a more intense uh, wireless connectivity to try to find your phone. And nine times out of ten, it will find it. So let's push on my iPhone. Please enter the pass key zero 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 so when that, requested by your phone. Please visit www.handsfreelink.honda.com for a list of compatible devices. And obviously, it's telling you not every phone is compatible with a Honda. It's possible you might have a phone that only half pairs with the car, and that does happen. It pairs with the car, but it won't download your phone book, or it will download your phone book, but it won't work with the, the uh, wireless capability so just go to that website like the car tells you and hopefully your phone's compatible no phone was found for pairing see so I took too long so I'm gonna push on my phone again please enter the pass key so push zero, my pass key zero, in zero zero four zero by your phone and pair please visit www.handsfreelink.honda.com the pairing was successful pair was successful push OK and as you can see you have your options here. On the left side, you have your call history, phone book. On this side, you have your speed dials. Speed dials are very self-explanatory to set up. Uh, for whatever reason, if you have trouble setting up the speed dials, you either go into your Honda dealership, they'll show you, or the book will let you know. But we'll push on my phone book. No, see, there's on my phone book downloading. So just knock it over. As you can see, you have your arrows on top with the alphabet. You just knock this over and it goes right to the alphabet, whatever you have in there. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel. The cancel button takes you back to the previous screen. Okay, there's that. Turn my phone off. The last thing I'm going to show you guys most people ask me what it is. I'm going to show you. There's a little button here behind the shifter. It says VTM4 lock. What that enables the car to do is drive in first or second gear. Push it, the little orange light comes on. Now this is basically uh, what other manufacturers call uh, four wheel drive low. This is never need, this is never uh, needed to be used for regular driving. This is more for trail climbing in the mountains or or you know something like that. That's the only time you need to use it because it's only it's only available in first or second gear. You can't use it in drive because it it, it basically what it does when you start driving the car, it kind of locks it ever so often every like 5 6 feet it locks the wheels. So it's really it's really really for like trail climbing. So if you ever want to use that just that's what. That's definitely what you need to use it for. Uh, never everyday driving. Never in the snow. Never anything like that. Uh, that. Oh, and then uh, let's see what else I have in here. Let me make sure we went over everything. Ah, I didn't go over your sunroof. Okay, sunroof works just like all the Honda sunroofs. It's one touch. One touch back. 
and then one touch the opposite way to close it. All right, and then if you want to tilt it, you just push up on the button like that, and it tilts it for you. If you want to close that, just push the button to close, and it will definitely close the sunroof for you. And on the side of that, you have your option for the door option. If you have it in the center, just like I put it, if you open your door and close it, the light's dim, which I would use because if you're in a dark area or something like that, you need to see what you're doing in here. And it also illuminates the car so people can see you. So, uh, you know, so it's a safety feature as well. Uh, that is your 13 Pilot. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know I enjoy, I know I enjoy mine. So uh, any questions, just call Honda or uh, come in and see us.